denizens of the internet. Welcome back to Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. My name's Aeus. So we just finished the Society of Leopold Monastery. Now we get to go into the next part. Which should be a little more straightforward. But I think first I'm going to go over here and talk to Beckett. You can always count on the Sabbat to do the wrong thing for the right reasons. They're reckless, but they don't normally try to attract this much attention. This carelessness warrants observation. I hope it doesn't become pandemic. Okay, what the fuck are you talking about, Beckett? I realize you like being cryptic, but there's a limit to my patience at times. I like you, but... The Sabbat's goal is to stop Gehenna, which is very similar to my own, though they choose to do so through more violent, fanatic, and flamboyant methods. The Camarilla, on the other hand, suspends belief entirely. Or so goes the party line. Well, I'm guessing being gangrel... You're just completely outside everything. Which is probably where I'd rather be. What I am is kindred. How others choose to categorize themselves concerns me only where local customs are concerned. Individualism is a path fraught with obstacles and sometimes angry mobs. But for all its hardships, it is the only one worth taking. Yeah, I actually have to completely agree with you on that. So, I went and talked to Dr. Johansson. What did Johansson have to say? He says the tomb of Meserach. He was an Assyrian king. He drank blood, supposedly, but he thinks it may be more attributed to Porphyria than him being an actual vampire. And he said a few other things. Assyrian origin. Glad to see I'm not losing my touch. As for Meserach, I'll have to research that name. See what I can find. And he said the reliefs on the side were from Demon Eslem Lamastu that was supposed to be a inspiration for Lilith. Lamastu? She was a Lilith figure. They represent empowered women and the threat of such women to male-dominated society. Strange she would be engraved on a king's tomb. He also said there was a key, but it got lost on the Dane. Well... He doesn't know where it is. The lock and key. An invention as ancient as greed, I should have guessed. All we have to do is find a victor in this nonsense. They'll be the one with the key. So, does this mean anything to you at all? Because fucking shithead over there and fucking bunny eyes are not really being any help. It seems to corroborate my own evidence. I'm going to have to study it a little more. Maybe dig up some information on <clears throat> Nezerak and the Lamas II myth. I'm certain the key will show up in time. Your information is appreciated. So, like, you got any more time to yak? Excellent. So, did you learn anything else about Thin Bloods? How any sane kindred could think these poor unfortunates are an immediate threat to us is absurd. Most were afraid, or at the very least, uneasy around me. Tragic. Their desperation could very well hold the spark of revolution, however. So, why do you think the sub... I mean, aside from the fact they're stupid... Why do you think they would do this? It's simple. 
Someone's misled them into believing there's an antediluvian in this very room. They, and I suspect most kindred in this city, would love to sink their stakes or teeth into its imagined occupant. If indeed rocketing it to the moon was out of the question. You know, fucking LaCroix wants me to go annihilate them. Well, perhaps for this pack, it's for the best. One Excellent. more thing. So, do you think this is, has anything to do with Gehenna? Because I know you really don't believe in it. But I just want your opinion anyway. Well, if we open it up and the world ends, then yes. If we open it up and the world does not end, then no. I'd wager the latter. Yeah. I have to finish my study of the sarcophagus in the next few hours, as I have other matters to attend to. We'll have to make conversation another time. Alright. Okay, let's see where we're at. Sixteen. Let me... Get into proper attire here, more or less. So that my stats actually show. Okay. Melee 8. I want to use that... I don't think I've ever actually gotten that thing before, so I actually think I want to use it. That's 12. That's 12. Perception just so I can do something with my range combat because I need better range combat. Oh, where's my firearms? So it's both, they're both 12 no matter what, so. Fuck it, I'll take perception. Time to go buy ammo. So let's go find Larry. Larry's this way. I could use actually I'm going to do a quick cut here and I'm going to get my money from the club so be right back I told her to get rid of this goddamn turnstile Money, right? Been a while. Your money's been piling up. Here, that should provide for an interesting evening. Yep. <coughs> Lovely evening. And we're back. So I got another 500 from Venus. 
I said, I have no idea how the money increment thing works. I just know I had to buy ammo. My man, what is up? Yeah. I need stuff. Oh yeah, I do have two rifles here. That's the Remington. That's the SWAT rifle. This I do want to get to. Because I could have some fun with that. That's for the Glock. I don't care about the bat. Yeah. Does it even. So let's reload. Now let's see. My man, what is up? Which rounds SWAT rifle takes, which I think is 308. Should I go by blood? Nah, I'll be alright for the moment. I think I have to go into the sewers to get to the Hallowbrook though. Let's get down here, find a map. Mm. Yep, my wife still hates it when I do that. That blood's blood, so. right next to it so I just need to go behind me I wonder if there's a way in Hallowbrook should be around here. I think. There's a further up. Uh, 
Ooh, the hollow brick should be right here. Ish. That's I, so that would be H down here. Surface access. So maybe I go to I? Mm -hmm. I don't think this is right, but I'll look anyway. No. Well, fuck it. Let's just head for the Hallibrook and see how I get in. I thought it was through the sewer. I guess I'm wrong. time with the Sabbat. Okay, who else is around here? That looks like a breakaway wall. you, buddy. Mm. 
I guess time for guns. Yeah, let's play at the Steyr. Stick your head up, fucker. Come on. One more time. Fuck you. There's that two morons go. Me something with a little less kickback. <laughs> Fuck you. Son of a bitch. What the fuck? Alrighty. That ah, was bullshit.
Okay. Two of these down. Three it is down. And who's next to die? Am I wearing the right clothes? No. Fuck you. Good night, dickhead. Drain your ass down, too. I feel much better now. <laughs> 